Boom. A lot more down there. Oh. Is there a lot more of them down oh, there? Oh, no, that's it, man. Oh, I saw lights down there. I thought maybe they... This is everybody, huh? It was 31 from Honduras uh, and Guatemala. Oh, Mostly total. children. Hey, hey what's up, man? Gotcha. Hey, how's it going, man? They crossed this way. Yeah, yeah. They, the contractors left the gate open and they crossed through there. I saw the coyote earlier down there. We thought they were yeah, going to come through the... Yeah, we walked up there and our dog, dog went off and then yeah. came back to the camp to give them time to walk down. I guess it came that way. Hey, guys. We just... Uh, you guys missed it. We just loaded up a group of 31, but I figured I'd... If you watch the video back to the beginning, you'll see them lo being loaded into the van. Um, this was another situation where uh, they went behind Monument One, the area where there's uh, absolutely no wall. And so they came through the fence. And by the time I was able to get back over here, uh, they had already had them. But there was 31 Hondurans and Brazilians and a lot of kids, a lot of kids. You can kind of see a picture of them. Uh, if you go back to the very beginning of the video here, uh, you'll see them. Um, but uh, it's still happening. Uh, we're still getting hit. Um, they came through a little late tonight, actually. Hey, Annie, how you doing? Um, but that's the processing van. So that's once they go from here, they get in the processing van, and then the processing van takes them uh, takes them to uh, processing. So they're going to get processed, um, but it's ongoing. I don't know if you guys uh, watch the governor down here in New Mexico, and I keep bringing her up because the stuff she says is absolutely ridiculous. Um, she continues to say that there's no crisis down here, and for the people in the counties that have declared emergencies, don't worry about it because she's working on getting everybody removed out of New Mexico as quickly as she can and into the rest of the United States. So uh, that's her her uh, statement, that's her, her answer to the problem. Uh, another thing that she said is that we can't deport these people because if we do, then we have evidence that they're gonna get killed when they go back to their own countries. And that is that is so false, that is such a false statement the bottom line is she is for open uh, borders. Veronica Escobar is for op open borders. All of these people down here. And, and the bottom line right now is New Mexico is an open border. Uh, like I said on the other video that I made the other day, if you come through and claim asylum, whether you're a legitimate asylum seeker or whether you're like the 80% that are fake asylum seekers that are child trafficking or human trafficking or sex trafficking, the fact of the matter is, right now, they're not going to do anything. So you have an inconvenient stop in processing, and then you're released. And and because this thing is so well organized, you know, you're going to have, uh, what do you call it, uh, people sponsoring you, uh, welfare in some states, they're passing it left and right so that people can get housing and food stamps. And, you know, and I, and I think the real tragedy here is that... Uh, that they're not allowing American homeless vets and children um, to have those charitable resources that would normally go in their direction. You know, uh, I heard the governor and I've heard Veronica Escobar and I've heard Beto down here all talking about that the churches need to open their doors and they need to give all their money and resources to this stuff. And in some cases, the federal government is even, and state and state and local cities are passing and taking money out of their budgets um, to take care of uh, of the illegals that are coming in, and like I said, this is just it's it's ridiculous. Um, you know, again, I'm sympathetic if you truly have a reason to 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 come into the United States because you you know you fear for your life or there's something really happening. I am sympathetic to that, and you should be helped. I'll be the first one to write you a check. But for the 80% that are scamming our system, and, you know, we talk about a criminal element. What kind of a person takes a child from somebody and, 
uses them just so they can get into another country. I mean, are those really the type of people that are going to make good American citizens? Are those the type of people that you're going to want as neighbors in your neighborhood? Um, you know, these people are not, you know, from what I've seen, it's not about assimilation. It's not about, you know, uh, you know, when the first thing you do is break the law coming into the country, when you lie to a federal agent and tell them that you're an asylum seeker and that you're truly running from something and 80% of them are lying, okay, what, is, what kind of message does that send? I mean, right off the bat, you're coming in and a lot of these caravans, they're waving their own flags. Um, you know, having pride in America means nothing to them, but yet we're, we're continuing to, at, at the foot of us, at, at our taxpayer cost, we're continuing to finance this, to allow it to happen. And, um, you know, basically our, some of our government and people in the government are committing treason against the American people. And, uh, you know, I can specifically point out some instances. We're talking about the U.S. border here. We're not talking about New Mexico's border. Uh, we're talking about the U.S. border. And so when they're doing things on the U.S. border that are supporting criminal cartel operations, <clears throat> child trafficking at, at an excessive rate, trafficking for sex at an excessive rate, um, you know, all, all we're doing is, is, is financing and allowing savagery. And I know that that word is going to come in and it's going to tick a lot of people off. But the fact of the matter is, I didn't come here to, to tickle ears. I just can't. I'm on here to tell the truth. And, you know, these aren't my facts. These are facts that have been, have been uh, uh, reported again and again and again by the Border Patrol, by Department of Homeland Security. And for whatever reason, these anti-border Democrats have decided, and even some Republicans, some of the Republicans are guilty in this too, that we thought were on our team that aren't on our team, that are allowing this to happen. And so, it, it you know, the only thing we can do is bring awareness to it. The only thing that we're going to be able to do is to try to show and document exactly what's happening. Every video I show you guys, and I've said this a hundred times, this is a very small sector of a 2,200 mile border that reaches from California, New Mexico, Texas, uh, Arizona, and they're all having the same problem. They're all having different versions of the same problem. And so it truly is something that's going to affect you, whether you're a Republican or a liberal, whether you hate Donald Trump or you like him, or you know you like him, it doesn't matter at this point. This is going to affect every American. I don't care what state you live in. I don't care how rural you think your house is. That, that this isn't somehow in some way going to affect you. You're 100% wrong. And uh, so the bottom line here, guys, is that uh, we're going to continue staying down here. We're going to continue bringing you guys this stuff. And, and you guys have done a great job sharing. You're getting the message out. Um, we're getting good views on the videos. I wish I could have got more on this video, but the problem was is they went behind us and uh, we have to cut across to get over here to the road. And so uh, because it took us a little bit of time to get over here after they went behind the monument, I wasn't able to actually give you a really good picture of the group. But if you go back to the very beginning of this video, uh, you will see the beginning of the group, okay? So that's that's what that's the thing I wanted to point out, and um, you got to pass. That's that. There's two things that got to happen. You know, number one, we need to get some border wall in some very specific places to slow down the large groups. Um, I'm not saying that we need to build a wall on all 2,200 miles of the border, but there are sections where if we had wall, it would slow down large groups from coming in. Um, secondly, if we had a National Guard presence, even in a civilian role, um, they could help by setting up tents. They could help with uh, some of the processing things and, and taking people to appointments or driving them to the doctor. Things that Border Patrol are being asked to do right now that actually takes them off the front line of being able to secure the border. Um, they're not able to do their counter operations that they normally do. Uh, some of the checkpoints have been closed as a result of this. 
So we want to get the Border Patrol back into their role, which is patrolling the border and protecting the national security of the United States of America and making sure that, you know, we know who's coming into our country, making sure that, you know, the people we really, really, really don't want here aren't able to just walk in by the droves. Um, you know, and, and up until recently, when all 50 countries and maybe more now decided through the actions of somebody in, 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 in power that they were going to allow this to happen and finance it to happen, um, that's how we ended up in this position. And, and I say this a hundred times, this is not Mexico crossing the border, folks. This is 50 different countries. This is Honduras, El Salvador, Somalia, Nigeria. Uh, that you know, you name the country, they're coming. 